Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football. Um, random pack break number 20. Two box random pack break number 20. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. And big thanks to these numbers right here. UBU numbers. First of all, though, we're going to generate a number between 1 and 12. Remember, I marked all these in the previous break. So we're only the second break into a fresh case. So let's generate a number between 1 and 12. Let's do box 8. No, actually, we already did 8. And box 2. 2 we can do. So 8 was living right here between 7 and 9. But 7, 8, 9. Here's box 2. And let's generate a number right here. Box 12. We have not done 12. Will I break momentum if it sells on? Why wouldn't I break momentum? It's kind of my job to break things. To bust stuff open once it sells out. All right. So there it is. We got those two. Now let's open these and number the packs. Let's set these off screen. Oh, you looked at the time. Oh, oh, you thought it was later than no. It's only, it's only uh, nine twenty-two on the West Coast. So I've got at least an hour and a half left for me. Oh, one left. Yeah, we'll definitely do it. Definitely do it. And it sold out. Nice, Curtis. Thank you. We'll do it right after this break. All right, now let's roll the dice for each list. Six and a three, nine times. Your name's first. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. Rex down to Blake. Five, six, and nine. After nine times, we got 12 down to 10. And remember, we do these breaks alphabetically. All right, so Rex, you got packed 12, Trevor with seven, Jared with one, Seth with five, Blake with nine. Isn't there, a, don't, isn't there another letter after your name, Blake, your last name? There is. There you go, Blake. I shorted you an H. Todd, last spot, Mojo, 8. Trevor with 11 and 2. Todd with 3. Trevor with 6. Colton with 4. And Blake with 10. There you go. Let's sort by column A. And Blake, you're first with packs 9 and 10. Let me print out these labels and we'll get it going. Stand by. Uh, Gilo saying, don't know about you guys, but I'm stacking up on Mikkel Hardman. Why? Yeah, and who else are you? is everyone high on this at, at the early stage of the, uh, the summer, post-draft? Wait, aren't we supposed to be going to an NFLPA rookie premiere soon?
I feel like that rookie premiere is coming up soon. I'm going to get ready for it. All right. Blakey Blake. Pack 9 and 10. Good luck. You're stacking him on Kyler Murray? That's easy. Curtis Gardner. Everyone knows that. Everyone's going to be stacking him on Kyler What about... But it's like the, the next level, guys. That's like saying I'm going to stock up on Apple stock. No, Curtis is laughing too. Um, no, yeah, it's like, it's like the next level guys. Those those are the those are the tough ones to try to pick out. And we've got Jerry Tillery for Blake. All right, your next auto. We got a tight end. We got Zach Gentry. All right, so there you go, Blake. I'm not sure if both. Of, I feel like these guys' names sound kind of familiar. I don't remember where they were drafted, but if at all. But hopefully, they're on somewhere. Um, you're new to your breaks. Hi, Don. Are all breaks minus base card shipped? No, not all of them. Some of them. But our uh, our item descriptions will always state if certain things aren't shipping. Usually, it'd be like veteran commons out of like heavy base products. If it doesn't say, then everything ships. Colton with pack four. And Colton just went to bed a few moments ago. All right, good luck, Colton. Good morning, Colton. <laughs> Probably watching the video in the morning. And for you, you have Marquise, uh, Marquise Brown. Nice, I think he did get drafted. College ticket on-card autograph. All right, there you go, Colton. Not too bad. On card auto. Is he a first rounder? Marquise Brown? Yes, I think he is. To the Ravens? Oh, does that feel like that sounds familiar? Like a late, I should actually have at least the first round up on my screen here. I'm sorry, I haven't memorized all seven rounds of the draft. Um, yeah, you're right, Marquise Brown. It was the pick right after, uh, right after my Raiders is Josh Jacobs. So there you go, Colton. Target for, uh, for Lamar. For Lamar Jackson. Jared, pack one. There's my boy Derek Carr. That's right, Ed Ran, our Raiders. And we got Jonathan Abram. Wait, isn't he a Raider? I'm pretty sure he is. Yeah, he is a Raider. He was there. Uh, that's the pick from this. This is what Amari Cooper turned into 
Jonathan Abram. This was the Dallas pick. Which I, th I think the Raiders had a... What do you think about the draft, Edward? Colombrito? I thought the, I thought the uh, Raiders draft... I mean, everyone says Cleland Farrell went too high. Maybe he did, but... Hey, I mean, you know, Mike Mayock and John Gruden norm, know more about football than I do. Know more about scouting than I do. So if, if they say that's the guy... I guess I can't object too much, you know. It does. It's not crazy. I mean, what's the difference? They said, "Oh, he caught, he could have probably been at that Jonathan Abrams spot." Maybe not. So yeah, maybe they reach a tiny bit, but I'm okay with it. There's Seth Baroni with Pack Five. But I thought overall, uh, by the time all the rounds were done, I thought the I thought the Raiders did okay. And then we got Dax Raymond. I think Dax got, I know Dax must have gotten drafted. No, maybe not. Maybe he got picked up somewhere. All right, there you go. Let's see if we can get a parallel here, Seth. No, maybe not. All right, thanks for giving it a go. You heard Mayock drafted mostly from Clemson, Alabama because of the championship game? Well, a lot of Clemson, Alabama players got taken. Grego's here. He said, Cowboys fan here. Thanks for Coop. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was actually probably a good move. I don't think the Raiders were going to be prepared to pay Cooper that kind of money. He was going to be a lot more valuable to another team. And I think maybe a, maybe a tra change of scenery. Maybe a change of scenery would have had done Amari Cooper well. I think it did. Rex, you have Pac-12. And we've got Easton Stick. Is that the Carson Wentz replacement? Easton Stick? North Dakota State? Easton, did you get drafted? He did. Late in the fifth round by the Chargers. Oh, that's cool. I forgot Colorado and Denver are the same. Same owners, right? No, I, yeah, I think so, but I, was, I forgot that they're actually in the same like, city. Oh, right, right, right. Do they, they play in the same building? Yeah. All oh, right. So they couldn't be, obviously couldn't be playing tonight. There was a cool time lapse video. Remember that? When the Kings and the Clippers were playing on the same Sunday night or something like that? Yeah, no, it was one, it was one game. One time in 14 when I think it was the Clippers. Was Lakers it a playoff game? Kings were all on the same day. Wow. Clippers, Lakers, and Kings. I think the Clippers game was like a midday early, like 10 or 11 on Saturday or Saturday. Clippers like midday and the Kings Man, that's crazy. Todd, you got a couple packs right here. Three and eight. Three and eight. Looks like Damon Lillard is not going to be making a comeback here. We got Gary Jennings Jr. Gary Jennings Jr. was drafted by the Seahawks. Late fourth round pick. Mid fourth round. Mid run fourth round. Jason Jaspi, big Eagles fan, of course, is uh, looking forward to the Eagles. Who was the Eagles running back? Oh, Miles Saunders. Moving miles. Moving miles? Is that what you said? Moving miles from Friday Night Lights. Oh, right. That's his nickname. 
I'm gonna go see them in, in April though. I mean not sorry, not April. In okay. August, October. Nice. I got tickets to get against the Jets in Philly. Oh nice. So That's awesome. Alright, I'll see you then. Paris Campbell, four out of eighteen playoff ticket autograph. Paris Campbell is a late second round pick by the Colts. Nice. So that could be interesting, Todd. Andrew Luck throwing to this guy. All right, not too shabby, Todd. I think Trevor, you have the last four. One, two, three, four. All right, 7-11. You had 7-11 last time. 7-11. And then 2 and 6. All right, Trevor. Good luck. <laughs> Rex is saying, I'm going to have to call Panini. That was supposed to be a Kyler Murray. Yeah. You let him know, Rex. You tell him. We got Dylan Mitchell, quack quack, a duck. Dylan Mitchell, a late seventh round pick. Went to the Vikings. Who knows? You never know. My customer is always right, says right. Imagine if they did that. And they overproduce Kyler Murray, and then he's worth nothing, and then everyone's like, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Another receiver, Antoine Wesley. Where did he go? Antoine Wesley, I don't think he was drafted. All right, it happens. You never know. Could have been an undrafted signee. Doesn't say it on this Wikipedia list here. Maybe worth a second look. All right. Behind Trubisky is a defensive end. We have Montez Sweat to 99. And he, I think, was... That's a familiar name. He's a first-rounder. Late first-round pick. By the Redskins, defensive end from Mississippi State. There's Josh Jacobs from my Raiders. And your last autograph, red team behind Herschel Walker is Jonathan Dixon. Jonathan Dixon, not drafted. Johnny Dixon, Jonathan. That's when he's in trouble. Jonathan Dixon, you come right back here. Otherwise, it's Johnny Dixon. All right, and there you go. Trevor, those four autographs and the rest of these cards are for you. We can run another one of these back before we uh, run out of time tonight, folks. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you're watching live, or maybe we'll squeeze some in tomorrow. Bye-bye.